Hey guys, it's Andy Tran here with the Inner Bark Outdoors channel and welcome to Behind the Scenes, Day in the Life. So yesterday I did a 12 hour shift, which is a normal shift. I worked from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. and I got home, took a quick uh, like three hour nap, woke up and then we loaded the truck. So what we got are some ABS pipes for our under uh, our subsurface uh, water diversion from our gutters and a two by four for a little bit of a project and then holding it down is a new project uh, product that I'm working on or working with it is the simple straps they're like rubber tie down straps and they're really nice because instead of using like pure force like a ratchet strap it has rubber so it uses a lot more friction so things aren't getting crushed around and um, because constant pressure like vibration and all that stuff from the road doesn't uh, loosen it up which is kind of cool but boom we have the wood stove right here which is a restoration project that we're doing on the channel and then a whole bunch of triple wall stove pipe I think it's triple wall triple or double wall anyway so that's going to be going through the attic space and then the transition pieces and everything like that and Come say hello to the puppies. Yeah. And in tow, <laughs> we got thing one and thing two. So the wife went to the grocery store and she left me unsupervised. And so uh, on days where I have work and I only sleep for three hours, what we do is I take a quick nap and then I sit in the back of my truck, she drives and I sleep. And that'll give me a couple more hours of sleep and then from there we start work. support box from the old location and I put the new one in to where it's gonna go now which is a lot better of a location to put it in um, I think the reason why the old stove failed was because we get so much snow where we're at right now and it, it was kind of like at the edge of the roof so all that snow kind of slid hit the pipe and then it uh, helped expedite a failure and so now we're gonna be putting this near the, the peak of the roof it's gonna be a lot nicer. So I have six feet of pipe right here and I have three more ready to go. And then we have all of our flashings and our caulking and everything. And the wife is painting and covering up the morgue <laughs> and the mom. She's <laughs> chill. Mi madre. What a madre. She's enjoying our very first fire. So we got that fire pit for free on Facebook, on the Buy Nothing page in our local neighborhood. And we just uh, put some dents in it, so pretty happy. Back up to the crawl space. Yo, welcome to this episode of This Old Cabin. So, uh, I am in the attic crawl space. And so, I just put this pipe in 
It's a six foot long section. And don't tell the wife this, but I didn't measure anything. And it's right here. Perfect. So another foot or so. We're gonna go well through the the uh, the roof here. And then we'll be two feet at the top past the roof, which is to code. And it was all by mistake. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take uh, a four foot level and I'm gonna measure and make sure everything is nice and straight on this you know because if it's off a little bit then that's no bueno so I'm gonna make sure that this gets to the right spot uh, and then I'm gonna mark where we're gonna be cutting this hole into the steel roof and then I have to go top side and then put on the uh, the silicone flashing which is kind of like a neat thing. It kind of looks like a, like a big gray condom with a, a metal rib around it so it conforms to the shape. And then we will tack it in with some sheet metal screws. Um, of course, caulking everything and then putting on the cap for the chimney. Aces. All right, so the sun went down and I managed to finish the whole stovepipe section. So we got it down to the support box. We got the fitting in to transition from the black pipe to the double wall. Then cut the hole. And then after that, which was kind of nerve wracking, after that we did the flashing, then we did the caulking, and then the, uh, the actual cap for the stove. All right, so this is the next morning. So the, the uh, twilight hours were spent uh, putting up the rest of, well, you can't see from this angle, but I was uh, doing the stove pipe. And so I did a little bit of that and then we went down to a, a local diner so, uh, to have a little bit of a, of a meal because my mom hasn't gone there yet and it's a really nice like local spot. So went down there, came back, and we're pretty tired at that point, so we decided just to kind of turn in. So we have a little bit of work left to do on the hearth, and then uh, we have a little bit of futzing around to do with the black stovepipe to get to the, uh, the actual stovepipe, the uh, double wall. And yeah, so we're pretty excited. Um, we don't think that the snow is going to inhibit us for like another, let's say, month three weeks to a month so we got a couple more shots up here before we have to get snowmobiles or have to go cross-country skiing or something so um, yeah three more trips have a lot of work and then chillaxing so Anna Tran signing out welcome to my world it's been great uh, but I'll see you guys on the next one and take care out there bye